Hey y'all, welcome to Steffi Eats in the kitchen. I don't know, I just made that up right now. So uh, today we're gonna be making some empanadas. Oh my gosh, if you're like me who absolutely loves empanadas, like I love empanadas of all kinds. I just love them, they're amazing. They're like this pastry and it's usually filled in with chicken or beef or sometimes they're sweet. Um, and so today we're gonna be making buffalo chicken empanadas. I absolutely love buffalo chicken. I've never had them together, buffalo chicken empanadas. We're experimenting today. I've never done this before, but we're gonna cross our fingers hoping this comes out good. So, let's begin. I went ahead and got these pastries uh, that are already made for the uh, outside. You can buy them, I bought them at Walmart, whatever, you can find them in most places. They're already made. Uh, you just have to defrost them and you're all set. I have uh, for our filling, for our buffalo chicken filling, I have, I boiled two chicken breasts um, and really I just put what my mom normally does is onion, garlic, uh, laurel, some lemon pepper seasoning. So just have whatever chicken, however way you boil your chicken in the most simplest way, if you wanna have like the chicken that's already made, you just, you know, the one from the store that you just shred it, you could do that too. I have the buffalo sauce, I have some cheese. So, uh, I already shredded the chicken, as you can tell. And I'm gonna throw in some buffalo sauce. Sauce it up, sauce it up. Uh, I know you should probably get measurements for this. Um, so, the more buffalo sauce it has, the redder it is, the more spicier it's gonna be. So, I just kinda eye it. Okay, so it needs more. So throw your buffalo sauce in here. That looks about right. We're gonna throw our cheese because I wanna make it like a buffalo cheese filling. It's gonna be amazing. And you just mix this up like so. Okay, so I finished, you know, mixing up the buffalo chicken. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm also gonna be making some uh, with guayaba and cream cheese. Oh my God, this is an absolute favorite. These are like sweet with a little bit of like the cream cheese. Um, this guayaba, I brought it back from Puerto Rico and I was waiting to make something with this because this combo right here, amazing. So, so we're gonna get our disc, our, uh, our pastry, um, circle here and they're already separated and it comes around we're gonna place this down here uh, we're gonna get the filling of the buffalo chicken we just did about a teaspoon you don't need a lot because then the uh, empanadas will not close so try not to like overfill it okay so I have it here and I'm gonna close this off Okay, so kind of like a taco, you know, like a closed taco. So we're gonna press on the edges. Now let me show you something super cool. So just because you press it like this does not mean it's closed. So normally people do this fork thing, you get a fork and you're supposed to press the edges down, right? Ta -ta -ta -ta, go around and it'll look crooked or whatever and it makes it look like a mess. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you no longer, I wish I could throw this, but my mom was gonna get mad at me. You no longer have to use a fork, guys, because Ipatia came up with a super cool empanada utensil called an empanada fork, and it eliminates a lot of the hassle in the kitchen of you empanada makers who do this on the daily, who do a lot of these. It's all just, you just got a stamp, and we're about to use it for the very first time and see what this is all about. So, um, all you do is you see how it has the edges of what you normally would use in a fork you just have to stamp it so i'm going to place this on my empanada edges and i'm going to press down lightly on there okay just like that see here and i'm going to take it off <gasps> oh look at that I'm not even a pro and it makes me look like a total professional. Excuse my nails, guys. Ew, don't look at my nails. But look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. I'll probably press a little more. Uh, 
put it on your edges, go down, and that is all. Oh, look at that. Your empanada is made. How cute. Look at how perfect this is. Just like that. Wow. So this is empanada fork. Uh, you can actually, I'm gonna put uh, her Instagram name below so you can um, order yours. These are super cool. Like I'm telling you, if your tias, especially around the holidays, I know, um, you know, uh, the Latin American people, they use, they make a lot of empanadas for especially like Christmas time and all of this. So it'll save you a lot of time. Oh my gosh, I love empanadas de guayaba con queso. I also like the uh, pan con guayaba con queso. It's just a very like, combination of sweet with cheese so this is like a guayaba guava um, paste and I'm just gonna put some here inside again I got this from straight from Puerto Rico it's gonna taste amazing I had a couple good empanadas over there I mean not a couple I had a lot of good empanadas over there and this is by far one of my favorites and then I have some cream cheese in the fridge that I'm gonna use. This this right here, this empanada here was not planned. I just saw that I still had this. I'm like, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna close the empanada. Okay. Now, let me show you. So you know how I, the other ones are filled in with buffalo, um, they're filled in with buffalo uh, cheese. Where is it? They're filled in with buffalo chicken and cheese. Well, you know, whenever I'm frying them, you're making a whole lot different at a time. So she also made these stampers and some have cheese, some have chicken, some say veggies, some say beef, and that way you won't get confused. So since these are my guava, I don't wanna get confused. I'm gonna use this stamper right here to where it'll tell me these have cheese and I'm gonna know these have way I line them. Here you go, just like that. You see? Our final outlook oh my god look at these empanadas nice and golden brown um, so yeah you just want to wait till they're golden brown you know for you to turn them or flip them over and then take them out and um, just be careful with like spilling all the oil on top of you and so again a big shout out to Ipatia for this super time saver it makes me look like a total professional like I know what I'm doing so let's go ahead and try one of these. Um, I may have over crisped them, but um, it's my first time. So, uh, wow, these are actually like really, really hot. I'm gonna try the buffalo chicken one. So, oh my God, let's see. <gasps> Guys, oh, look at that smoking hot. So you see your cheese, your buffalo chicken. <gasps> mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not gonna eat this by itself. I got my, this is my favorite ranch guys. Who else like Hidden Valley Ranch? So I'm gonna put some ranch on here. Thank you Jesus for this food. I am so excited. <laughs> so let's try our buffalo chicken and bananas. Wow guys. I'm feeling like a freaking total chef right now. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Guys. This empanada is nice and crispy and crunchy. The filling, you can taste the buffalo chicken. The cheese. Oh my God, good for your football parties coming up. If you want to impress your loved ones, if you want to impress yourself and just make yourself some. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm. This is my way about one. So let's 
they're still really hot, so it's hard for me to. Look at that, you see the wawa paste? That's the cream cheese. Yum. I just cut like blocks of it, of the wawa. Let me get a smidge of that. Okay, so this is gonna be more of like a dessert. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Well, wow, guys. Oh my god. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my god, I'm ready for the holidays. This is, I'm gonna do these for the holidays. Wow. Is si te gusta la, um, el guayaba con queso? La empanada de guayaba con queso? Eso está delicioso. You know, the guava paste is sweet. And then the cream cheese is not as sweet, so it balances it out. It's like a nice creamy, you get the sweet and then you get the creamy. Oh my God. Ma! Ben! Vamos a llamar a la jefa? A ver, que bien de esto. She doesn't eat spicy, so I'm not gonna have her try the buffalo chicken. But I'm gonna have her try this. Mami! Yeah. Okay guys, so thank you guys for watching how to make these empanadas, buffalo mm. chicken, and the way I like this one. Let me know your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to eat all these. Okay? Okay. Bye. Tienes que ser así. There we go. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>